The major finding of the research is that triclosan, which is the antimicrobial compound in hand soaps, is found in the sediments of lakes throughout Minnesota. And not only is triclosan found, but also something we call chlorinated triclosan derivatives, which are formed when triclosan is exposed to chlorine in the disinfection process. And also uh, four dioxins that form when triclosan and the chlorinated triclosan derivatives are exposed to sunlight. This is a compound that many people have in their home, and it shows that compounds that we're using are making it out into the environment for routine activities like washing our hands. Second of all, triclosan is a biologically active compound, and so the fact that it's in the environment is of concern. And third, the other compounds that form these chlorinated triclosan derivatives and these four dioxins also have potential toxic effects. So triclosan is not only in liquid hand soaps, it can be in bar soaps, it's in toothpastes, uh, the liquid soap you would use to wash your dishes in, in your sink, even in acne creams, uh, then other things it's infused into like plastics for cutting boards or odor eaters in your shoes. So how we did the study is we went to each of these lakes and we got to go out on a boat for the day and we would take a sediment core out of the lake which is a plastic tube that we drive in about a meter deep and then we pull it out and we uh, slice up the sediment and then it's split into multiple pieces. For triclosan and the chlorinated triclosan derivatives, we do a solvent extraction of, of the sediment. Um, then we have to clean that up and concentrate it so we can get the uh, concentration of triclosan high enough that we can see it. And then we use something called a liquid chromatograph tandem mass spectrometer, which allows us to isolate very specific uh, compounds. The hope is that the dissemination of this research will both inform the public as to that this product is out there and they're using it maybe unknowingly, and they should read their labels and also to the chemical manufacturers so they can see that, you know, what the potential impacts of this product are on the environment and that the levels are, are increasing over time.